we would like to welcome you to Fabric Chicks Live on Monday. On, well, it's already four o'clock. On Mondays, we try to do demos and teach you something or inspire you or um, or whatnot. So um, so today we're doing yo-yos. Hey, Charity, how are you? Hi, Jody. Um, hi, Sherry. Sherry, I think you left before I asked you, but where are you right now? Are you at... Um, are you back home or are you still on the road? Um, hey, Han and Carolyn and Tina and Rondi, welcome everybody. Hi, Victor. Um, so if you are new to watching, we kind of are crazy to say the least. Um, but Mondays we try to do demos and techniques. We try to teach you something, inspire you to sew, um, get you using your stash. Um, we will show you things you can order. And if you want to order and you're not registered, you can just call the number scrolling there at the bottom. Um, but you uh, you can also wait. Well, if, if you are going to order and you're new, wait till after the show. Because um, I do have the phone in my pocket, but I hate to stop talking so that I can answer the phone. But if you wait till 6, then we can. Um, well, today is 5. We can, we can help you at 5. So for those of you who are joining us for Victor's class today at five, um, we have the um, scrappiest squirrels um, because we can't stay focused. Um, Mondays at five, it goes from five to seven-ish, sometimes, I don't know, nine-ish or 10-ish. Um, and every week, Victor tries to teach us a new technique. So um, last week we did the paper piecing trees. So I paper pieced and look at, I was very successful at my paper piecing. Um, I'm pretty excited about that because I haven't paper pieced in, um, I don't know, probably like 20 years or 25 years. So this was fun to do and it's all from your stash. So you don't have to pre-plan. If you want, you can kind of find a colorway you want to stick to and then save all these blocks that we're making with all the different techniques and put them into like a gypsy quilt or something. Um, so that's super fun and it is only $40 a month. Um, or $15 a session. So, um, totally worth it. Um, oh, Charity says she turned her squirrel into a doll. Okay. Well, we're excited to see it. Um, got the emails for Scrappy. Perfect. Perfect. If you are in the Scrappiest Squirrels and you haven't gotten your, um, link, let me know and we'll get it to you. Um, yes, please share, share, share. Carolyn says she's really using up her stash. I know it's kind of crazy because when you do a scrap quilt, you literally use like this much off of 85 different pieces. So you're constantly um, taking your stash out and putting it back in. But I am determined that we are going to work on our stash because um, we're all kind of drowning in our stash and we want new fabrics. We want, um, we want new things. So I'm determined that we're all going to start sewing and getting things done. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, Thank you, Sherry. Uh, send me a link, please. Connie, you should have gotten the link. I'll send it to you again, though. But you should have gotten the link. And I also sent the link for last week's taped version. Okay, perfect. So so Phyllis, is, um, Phyllis has confirmed um, that we are going to do another mini retreat in August. I don't have my calendar with me, but I think it's August. 22nd ish from Thursday to Sunday. So if you want to do the mini retreat and you haven't done it before, um, you need to sign up quick because it does fill up. So I'm going to show you real quick. Um, we have several, um, different projects using yo-yos. So this one, if you know, um, Eleanor Peace Bailey, she does all the dolls around here. Um, she put yo-yos onto everything. So here is, she took the, some hand painted fabrics. She just painted some jacquard fabrics, which we have on order, but they're on back order. And then she did a yo, added a yo-yo here with some sequins and beads. So this is a great idea. It's, I think, silk fabric that, that it looks like the yo-yo's made out of. Um, it's a fun little fabric, but look at how interesting it is with the flowers and the beads. Um, and then here, these are like those cheap little artificial flowers she put in there and then just added them with be, um, those little buttons. So all kinds of fun ideas to embellish. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, like it kind of reminds me of those grocery bag holders that you hang up in your kitchen or like maybe you could put your, I don't know, dirty clothes in it. Your like intimates when you're on vacation or something. I don't know. Um, but... <laughs> 
Um, I was playing, I was bringing it downstairs. I wasn't really playing with it, but I was bringing it downstairs to show you guys. And um, here's one of those crocheted flowers. Somebody won the other day at one of the lives. We had a crocheted flower we gave away. Um, but I thought this was interesting, the attention to detail. So this is the lining of the bag and there's a yo-yo at the bottom. So very, very fancy. Um, I'm sure we could find a pattern for this if you guys wanted to make it. Now that I've pulled the lining out, I won't be able to get it back in. Um, but super fun, cute little idea for a yo-yo. And then we have um, yo-yo monkeys. And I'm trying to, Amy Berkman, who um, owned Indigo Junction, but now she does um, vintage stuff. So some a different company bought out her yo-yo pattern. So I've been trying to track them down. I think today I have found them. Um, if they don't respond to me, at least I found where we can source the patterns. So these were Indigo Junction patterns from the past that I've just found around the shop. So we've got a cute little monkey and in the pattern you can do the yo-yo monkey. So these are all yo-yos. See how fun that is? Different size yo-yos. Or in the pattern, you can also do just a stuffed monkey and not the yo-yos. Um, but there's a stuffed yo-yo there at the bottom. And then we have the um, pumpkin yo-yo. Um, his legs are out of the yo-yos and his arms. And then cute little stem here. These samples have got to be probably 15 to 18 years old. Um, <laughs> They literally were just like packed away around the shop because it's been really hard to track down the patterns. And then this was a gal, she used to do Day of the Dead, but she has since passed away. So I would have to contact her family and see if we could get um, the patterns through them. But it was a little cute kitty cat and skeleton. Although you can look at it and probably figure out how to do it yourself without the pattern if we can't track it down. But so yo-yos and skeleton, uh, mummies and kitty cats. And then we have um, the yo-yo necklace. So a lot of you guys have seen this. I show this a lot because once you buy the tools, I want to make sure you actually use them. And I was at my girlfriend Kim's house the other day and she was cleaning out her sewing room and I opened the trash just to throw something away and there was a perfect yo-yo in there. I had to steal it out of her trash. Um, so here is a yo-yo necklace. Um, these are beaded. Um, this, the orange, the bright one is not beaded. So you can see those are just cute little necklaces that you can make. You can embellish them as much as you want or as little as you want. And then here's another one out of batiks that's beaded. So we do have patterns for all those. Don't panic yet. And then I just want to show you my friend, Stephanie, um, brought me, um, my ste friend Stephanie brought me this quilt and I wish I could remember the story, but somebody went to jail or something and she ended up with this quilt and she didn't want it because it, her life is already too cluttered. So she knew I would want it. It is the most ginormous. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it's the most ginormous yo-yo quilt. And it's absolutely beautiful with a lilac color running through it. But I would say it's like for a queen size bed. And it's a lot heavier than it looks given all the airspace in between the yo-yos. Um, but it's super pretty. So I have this hanging upstairs in the shop. Um, so those are a few ideas of what you can do with yo-yos. This we had, um, like when I first opened the shop, Somebody was there and she wanted to keep busy. And so Eleanor had her make yo-yos. So we had this all sewn together and it was um, a yo-yo. It was a garland on a Christmas tree at one point um, when it was all together. Um, oh, I know there's one more sample. Oops. Um, here's a sample I started like 15 years ago. So this is a cute little wine bag carrier. And here is my yo-yos for it. And it just happens that I was cleaning upstairs and I found this fabric from 15 years ago sitting waiting to finish this project. So I'm gonna have to finish that. Maybe I'll take it to the retreat and finish it. Um, 
So there's all kinds of fun things you can do with yo-yos. And yo-yos are kind of a mindless thing. You can do them when you're watch, binge watching TV, or you could do it when you um, are traveling in the car. Anytime you want to keep your hands busy, but you don't really want to um, have to think, yo-yos are great for that. So I'm going to show you how to make a yo-yo really quick. And it does, um, I'm going to show you by hand first, and then I'm going to show you with the yo-yo maker. Um, and I did have the gal who made the pumpkin and the monkey. She said, oh, I don't need a, I don't need the yo-yo makers. I made yo-yos when I was a kid. Like literally the next day she came in and she bought the yo-yo makers in all sizes. So if you don't want to use the yo-yo maker, I'm going to show you how you can do it without it. I'm going to show you my special little tie that the knot that everybody loves. Um, my mom made a cute hot pad with yo-yos and wood beads. Oh, that would be cute. Oh, maybe you'll have to give us a demo on that. Um, I do have a, I do have a spider. Um, Sherry, there is a spider somewhere in this shop. It went, it's went with the pumpkin pattern. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I'll send it to you again. I was looking for the spider yo-yo pattern. Love the pumpkin. It, the pumpkin and the spider come in the same pattern. And I, Sherry, I will let you know because I have been researching it all day today, trying to, um, I have been researching it all day today, trying to find where we can get the patterns again because they are a lot of fun. Um, I know, Sherry, a lot of us have the yo-yo makers, but we never use them. Um, Yes, Connie, I will turn the air conditioner on in August. Just so you know, I keep the um, shop very cool, sometimes too cool. Um, okay, so to tie the knot, you're going to put your, your thread right here, okay? And go one, two, three, hold it there, slip it between your two fingers, and then you have the perfect quilter's knot, okay? I'm going to show you one more time just because people always say, oh, my God, that's amazing. Um, and I know, Carolyn, I'll show you in person at the retreat because sometimes you have to be standing behind me to get it. So you put this right on your finger. So my thread is under my needle. I'm going to wrap it three times and then I'm going to squeeze it between my other two fingers and pull it tight. And then you have the perfect knot. Um, OK, let's see. Um, Let's, okay, if, I don't know, there's so many, so many comments. If I missed your comment, let me know. Um, okay, me okay, I'll, I'll figure it out, girls, I'll figure it out. Um, okay, so I've got my perfect little knot here. And if I wanna do a yo-yo that is a different size than the yo-yo makers, I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna cut, just go down, uh, I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch and just do a running stitch. That's why I like the big long needles. They're very sharp. So these are the John James number sevens you guys bought last week, or like the Sasha Co needles would work. Um, and I've got upholstery thread or button carpet and craft thread. You could in a pinch use your 12 weight or your um, quilting thread because it's just a sturdier thread. But you really want button carpet and craft thread. It's also what you would use for your doll making. And don't worry, we have some to sell you. Um, so see how I came out on the right side of the fabric? I don't wanna twist it over and come here, otherwise it's not gonna work. You have to do a, a basic running stitch. So you just go down Okay, you girls see that? And then that's where my knot was, where I started. I'm gonna go a little bit past that original knot, and then I'm gonna just pull it tight like this. And see how we've got the ugly edges? I could have folded it over, but most likely I'm gonna tie something in there. But you could fold it over um, if you wanted. Like these I've folded over, but I probably used the yo-yo maker there. So I would just put a button on top of it like this one. 
So I'm going to tie my special knot, one, two, three, and then just go right through and pop it. Okay, then here I'm going to just show you this, the um, yo-yo maker. So the, the bottom of it goes here on the bottom, the top of it goes here, and you have to line it up so that the holes align. And you'll know if they don't align, you can kind of feel it. Um, and you'll especially know when you, um, when you start to sew, if you can't sew through it. Okay, wait a second, I just unthreaded my needle. Okay. Um, do you carry linen thread? No, but I guess we could ask about it. Um, welcome everybody who's just joined us. Okay, so you have to start from the bottom, okay? So it doesn't really matter where you start. You could start at the very top if you wanted. So I'm gonna start here and just go down. But look, at you wanna, if you hold it like this, then it's gonna uh, do a, a pretty finished edge for you, okay? So you do not want to, like I don't wanna come over the side like this because it won't work right. I'll have sewed the, the little piece of equipment into it. And I, I have my, I don't think it's lined up perfectly because I'm hitting, but it could be just, I'm trying to do it really fast while I'm standing. Um, so Charity, this is right up your alley, your mom said, which is correct because you can do it in, uh, in the middle of the night when you really just can't think. And then it's gonna be the same. I'm gonna show you Kasashi flowers also. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about, um, ooh, I hope my thread is long enough because usually I start out with a big long piece of thread, but because I did the other demo real quick before this, I didn't try a new piece of thread. So hopefully my fingers are crossed, it's long enough. It's making me a little bit of nervous, kind of like when you think you can make it to the next gas station, but you really can't. So I'm still holding it under with my fingers so that it's getting caught. And then I think I'm where I started so I'm just gonna pop it out, pop out the bottom. And then when I pull it tight, and I would have trimmed it down so there wasn't so much fabric there if I was doing it in real life. Because, because there's so much bulk there, it's not gonna lay real flat but you might want that if you want it to look more stuffed and more dimensional. So that is, so I just tie a knot and it'd be finished. So that's the difference. They were both the same size, but this using the yo-yo maker, this is not using the yo-yo maker. Okay, and then the Kasashi flowers, it's the same concept and it makes these cute little flowers, okay? Um, Oh, here's a cute little candy cane ornament you can make. All of these samples are pretty sad looking because they've been around for a hundred years, but we're gonna bring yo-yos back. Here's a Kasashi flower and then we put a yo-yo upside down in the center of it. Um, so there's all kinds of fun things you can do with the Kasashi flowers. Um, you do make each petal individually. So this here was a Christmas tree and we just started at the bottom and then made a bazillion flowers and then put them onto a styrofoam. I just haven't been, I haven't found the right topper for it or the right kind of decorations, but I'm working on it. So here is um, one time, like probably 15 years ago at a show, I was bored in the hotel. And so I saw the pattern on the back of the Kasashi flowers and made it. All of, all of this is kind of in sad shape. It's all put on here 
with double-sided sticky tape. Um, so it probably needs a redo. Um, but that was just a fun, quick project that I made in the hotel room. Um, okay, any questions on how these are made? Here is a yo-yo tree that is stuffed. So really all you need to do yo-yos is a circle, okay? And then if you wanna stuff it, you're gonna do just like we did um, with the yo-yos, but then stuff it. So it's super easy. And we do have a pattern, I'll find it for Wednesday. Eleanor Peace Bailey has a pattern called Yo-Yo Mama, and I've been wanting to make that for a long time. So we'll have to, um, we'll have to find that. I, I know it, it's sparkling water, so it won't be sticky if I do. Uh, well, I don't have as good advice as I once did, but they're still not too bad. Are those flower ones made with those other gadgets? Yes, yes, they are. Um, we're back, huh? Oh, oh no. Well, give Dennis a big hug from me. Um, oh, Mary Lou, funny you should say that because I just got a yo-yo vest pattern. Um, you made yo-yos out of denim, wasn't it too stiff? Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you, is that just like a gather stitch? Yes, Rhonda, it is just like a gather stitch. And Rhonda, there was something else I was gonna, you asked a question last week, and I said, oh, I gotta remember to answer your question on the live, but I don't remember what it was. So if you remember what your question was, oh, I know, it wasn't a question. I was wondering if you had any better luck with the threads. Did you change the needle and then did you have the, uh, did you have better luck? Yeah, Charity, these flowers, I, it's, it was your thread, Rhonda, if you're having any better luck with your thread. These flowers here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys, just because I know now that I've got you all inspired, now you want to make all this stuff. So hang on a second, because I have it all right here for easy access. I would hate to show you something and then you not be able to get it. Um, okay, so we do have Linda ABC. Let me know what color thread you want. Um, I have... Let's see. These are the two needles. If I was going to make yo-yo makers, these are the two needles that I would use. The John James number no. seven long darners. Um, S123 is $5 or the Sashiko needles because you want something with a big eye, but something that's still very um, sharp. So S124 is the Sashiko needles for $5. <coughs> 123 is the, um, the John James darners. Okay, for the button carpet and upholstery threads, we have um, S144 is a dark brown, S145 is a green, 141 is white, 140 is a tan color, and 153 is black. So, or 143. 143 is black, 140 is tan. Um, oh, those two colors are the same. Um, let's see. Okay, tan, like a dark khaki color, S140. If those were my choices, I would probably get the, uh, I would go with black, the tan and the white, personally. Um, but if you were gonna do some a lot with green trees or something, but honestly, when I do use the button carpet and craft thread, you almost never see the thread, so it doesn't matter. So I do typically just use whatever I can find. Um, oh, you changed the bobbin and it worked? Or you just put your thread, oh, the, you were using the heavier weight thread in the bobbin, I think. So once you put the 50 weight thread in the bobbin, it works fine. Um, okay, so then we have um, the Kansashi flowers. Let's see. So if you want to do the small little um, flower, the pointed, pointed petals. Um, and what I love about this is they give you ideas on projects you can do. And they probably have a website where you could go and see the free tutorial. Um, I have faith that you could just look at that and figure it out. Um, but
but I love the ideas because, oops, there we go. Okay, so S125 is 629. S125 is 629. And then we should have a large pointed flower. Uh, well, here is S126. S126, and their project is the one that I copied. So this is what I saw in the hotel room. And then that's what I just, what I showed you is what I came up with. So S126. S154 is for more rounded petals. And their project is a cute little oh, garter belt and like a gift bag or note cards or something. I don't know. Just cute little accents for projects. S154. And then S153 is the one that I showed you. Um, the wall hanging I showed you. But then they've got another project here, but I'm not sure what it is. S153. And then 152, they've decorated a lampshade. Um, so you really can just add these to anything. You can make a brooch, you can put them on a hairpin, you can add them to your tote bags. Um, S151 is the small rounded version and they've got them on uh, bobby pins or hair clips. Um, and then S, oh, this goes into um, the yo-yo maker. So that's all the Kasashi flowers. So that makes the flowers. And then S149, this is the actual size of the yo-yo, but they've got it on a cute tote bag there. So you could even find a pre-made tote bag and just upcycle it with some yo-yos. S149 is 829. This is a tiny little one. That's the size that I put on my styrofoam Christmas tree that I put all the buttons and things on. S148 is $5.99 for the tiniest yo-yo maker. The largest yo-yo maker is S150 for $10.99, and that's the most ginormous that they make. And then 146 is a small one, and oh, they've got it on a, they put the yo-yos on a tote bag. That's kind of cute. So this is a little bit bigger than the smallest one, I believe. Yeah. Um, but not much. S146 is a little bit bigger. And then S147 is the one I think I was using, S147. And then if you decide you really don't want to make yo-yos, but you just want them to embellish with, we do have silk ones that we picked up that are already pre-made. So these are cute little... And he said they were silk, but I'm not, I'm not that smart to know if they are or not. So if you just want some already made, and I know $14 is kind of a lot of money, except for it would take you a couple hours to make this many. So really $7 an hour is not that much. Um, S1431 is $14. S1431, if you just want to have some in your stash to embellish. I like to keep like a bucket full of them. So when I am doing something, I can just pick from them and just audition them and add them to whatever I'm working on. So 1431 is the already made ones. Maybe they're silk, maybe they're not. I don't know, I don't wanna lie to you. And then we have a couple of fun projects using, and I got so, we have, like we need one day to just do auctions because we had a whole new shipment come in. Um, okay, S. 155 is for a cute little Christmas tree, yo-yo Christmas tree using um, candlesticks. So when you go to the thrift store, make sure you're looking for the candlesticks that you can get cheap. Oh my gosh, my sister just showed me a picture. Well, her boyfriend has this doll fetish. They like to go to the thrift stores and get handmade dolls and then take them and put them around where they go motorcycling. And so they just found the most adorable crocheted doll all by hand crochet doll they paid a dollar for it makes me want to just go thrift shopping every day okay here's one for any season so here's an easter or springtime summery tree s156 is 5.95 and then we have the yo-yo necklace pattern s157 
is $8.95. If you're going to the retreat, you might want to bring your pattern because this would be a fun one to make the yo-yos at night when we're playing games or doing nonsense. Um, or when you just want to sit and chit chat with somebody, you can work on some yo-yos. And then we just got these in and I have not made them yet. Um, the yo-yo vest. And if you wanted to make it longer, which I would, because I think that would hit me like at a funny spot. So I would probably make a long one, um, but Yo-Yo Best S158 is $11.95. It's a great way literally to use up your scraps. I mean, mindless. And if you want to make a, a jacket, S121 is $11.95 for the Yo-Yo jacket. And this we have, um, Sandy's going to be teaching a class on this. This is the Serengeti. We haven't picked a date yet. So if you want to take the class, um, let us know what date works best for you. Um, but it's a super cute vest. You can do it in any colors. And it's got a slit on the side. It is a real pattern. So you can see it's like olden day pattern paper in there. Um, so this would be a great one to just take all your fun embellishments and different things and just go crazy with it. Um, it looks like it's a pretty simple um, design. S122 is $11.95. And let's see, I'm going to read some comments real quick. Um, that vest screams my mom put that pattern in her box. That vest. Okay. Um, Charity, this is what the ladies make fun of us because do you want this vest or this vest? Hey, sometimes people will say, hey, put, put that, uh, put that pattern in my box. Uh, what pattern? We just showed 12. Um, do you have the, have a variety pack of yo-yo makers? We do not, but I could make up one. Um, I could totally make one up with like one bonus. Okay, Sandy, I will work on that. What do you like to put in the middle of those flowers to hold them together? Um, well, they're already held together with your, see here, they're already held together with your thread, but it's kind of ugly. So that's why I put a button or like this one where you put, you did a, a larger one, the smaller one, and then offset it and then put a button and then um, felt so it doesn't look ugly on the ugly side. And there was a pin there, but I mean, this is, this is probably 15 years old. I think my friend Sherry made it, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, Charity, the yo-yo. I have a king size yo-yo quilt on my bed. Molly, I have that purple one, but I love it. So Molly, do you get like caught in it? Do your fingers get caught in it or your toes get caught in it? Or um, is it just on there at not like when nobody's sitting on it? Um, oh, okay, Charity. I know, but when you texted, I had only talked about the yo-yo pattern. But then by the time I looked at the comments, I'd already talked about this one. So it's not all in real time. I need all the, I need all the clarification and help I can get. Um, okay. Oh, bummer. I'm malnoise. I'm malnoise in my sewing room. Judy, I have no idea what malnoise is. Undo the tree with Kinsashi petals. I have everything. I just need to put another project on my list. I know. I, you know what, Kathleen, I suffer from that same issue. Every day I want to start a new project, probably like five times in a day. I walk past something and I say, oh, I need to whip up a sample for that. And so now I'm saying, nope, you can't start any new samples till we get something done. So I just ordered the pattern for this because um, I just finished it. And I even cheated and bought the um, pre-fused, pre-cut pattern. So like, it was like 300 and something dollars. And I bought it just so I could get the sample done. And then the sample sat upstairs waiting to be quilted for like four years. So here's a sneak peek of it. Um, I'm going to show it on Wednesday because we don't have the patterns anyways yet. Um, I just ordered them today. But um, this 
literally four years, this sample has been sitting up. I don't know if it's been four years, but a very long time, this sample has been sitting upstairs. So I finally quilted it and bound it this weekend. So um, I'll have it on Wednesday hanging up. I'll be official on Wednesday. Okay, let's see. That was my problem. Therefore, I have a million unfinished projects. I know, but Sandy, that's why we do all of the Zooms that we do. Um, so that you can have a couple of hours to focus on finishing things. Um, because at this point, I'm drowning in all the unfinished stuff. And I, my brain works faster than my hands can. And there's so many things I want to make. Um, okay, so I want to just show you something. I was, um, you know, cleaning. Like I'll, I, I feel like this shop should be so clean because all I do is clean. Um, besides cleaning the house, making dinner, yeah. I know, Rhonda, all that stuff gets in the way. Like all that, well, it's almost like we should have been born like, you know, a hundred years ago when we had like people to do all that stuff for us. Um, okay, look what I found. I'm gonna take this to the printers. Um, I'm gonna take this to the printers and have them blow it up so it's like block size. But this is some of Eleanor's original. Here, I'm gonna put it here so Roger can um, can get a good shot for you guys. But this is some of Eleanor's original artwork. And I have no idea what she was gonna do with it, but I think it would be fabulous. I mean, you could do the blocks at standalone, or you could make a big quilt if you wanted. Or you could make pillows. I mean, you really could do anything with it, but I love it. So I'm gonna take it down to the printers and have them enlarge it for us. Um, but it's, I don't know, pretty fabulous. Um, so that is my secret find of the day. You might have to study it really closely to see all the words and images because she kind of writes them into her drawings. Okay, then one last thing before we start the auction. I have no idea what time it is. Oh gosh, our time is almost over because we have a live. But I just want to, we got a box in. And I want to open it up with you guys because if you see, I know it's always like the most exciting. I know what it is. We actually got a ton of boxes in today. But if you are going to the retreat and you need one of these, um, you should pick it. I'll have them all labeled on, I'll have them labeled on Wednesday, but just a sneak peek of what is in here because I'm... I don't know. I ordered it like six weeks ago. Oh, so more canvas. Oh, some silk scarves. We've got some a silk scarf in here, but I don't know. I'm sure I didn't order that. But we've got red canvas. Oh, an orange one. Orange one. Oh, several orange ones because everybody wanted orange after Phyllis did her... Um, Mrs. Roper um, jacket, which she is, if you guys want to do that um, Mrs. Roper lounging coat um, or a bathing suit cover up is what she probably is really going to use it for. Um, look at this pink one. Um, if you're at the retreat, Phyllis will show you how to make it because you don't really need a pattern per se, I don't think. I think she just made it up. So um, I'll go through this and inventory it and then have it for Wednesday. Okay, let's get to the serious stuff. Okay, we got tons and tons of auctions, but I'm sure we can't get through so many. I know, Rhonda, the pink is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so here is the first one is Assorted Knits. Here, I'm going to scoot this over out of our way. So we've got, uh, oh, Connie Kaufman. I, I know what you're talking about. I, if like somebody should have put the air conditioner on today. Um, okay, so we've got assorted knits here. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's, well, it's very sexy. Um, okay, so, 
And then here's the fun line green one that's like several yards. I would probably take, well, you know me, I would take this and make it into, um, well, you could do a jacket. It would be a cute jacket and throw some embellishments on it. S60, we're going to start this at $2. $2 for the assorted knits. S60 is at $2 for the assorted knits. There's a red one there. Oh, thank goodness, the dogs went home. Okay, assorted knits. S60 is at $2. Um, I'm not sure. Here, we're going to just make everything $2 today. But don't take forever bidding on stuff, okay? Because we got about 80 of them. Um, this is, I'm not sure what. It kind of feels like fleece. But you could put it, kind of feels like my grandma's house coats back in the day. Um, you've got a couple of yards of it, probably. Um, and then here is, I think this is like a t-shirt. It's a thick t-shirt material, I think. And there's several yards of that. But it would be like a good receiving blanket also if you wanted to make it into a quilt. You've got some purple fleece, some red, like, t-shirt material. Um... And I did see something using this. I should have kept this because that would have been a good experiment. Um, but using like two layers um, and the t-shirt as the top and then do just doing cut work, just cutting, like putting a design on it, like a stencil design and tracing it and then just cutting it because you don't really have to sew it. You don't have to tuck it under because the t-shirt doesn't unravel. So that would be a fun thing to experiment with. S261 is $2. 261 is $2 for the knits and the fleece. Okay, we're going to get these closed up pretty quick. Um, S60 is the green and knit. Well, I don't really know, but I'm going to say so because... I'm not going to say who, just in case it's wrong, but whoever put it, this in the bag said assorted knits. So I think it is a knit, but it's a fabulous, I think it would drape really fun, and it's a fabulous color. Um, 261 is at $8. 261 is at $8. Oh, Susan, I hate when that happens. Go out and come back in. Um, 261 is at $8. Two six uh, six zero six zero is Linda ABC for six dollars. Linda and Linda, um, I did send you the link for tonight's class, um, but your package is on the cash register waiting to go next. Um, I'm just like super super behind. Okay, two six one. 261 is at um, $10. 261 is at $10. One, uh, Charity, when you come over for Applique Club, um, let's play with this because this might make fun, like, cut work hearts. I don't, I don't know. Like, I can see it happening. 261 is at fifth. Charity, you just outbid yourself. Mm -mm. She did it? Mm -mm. I have Charity at 10 and then Charity at... Because Linda. Oh, Linda was at 10 too. Okay. Um, one five four four is a variety of fun batiks. Um, you've got quarter yards here, um, and then some smaller pieces. This one feels like a half yardish. So just a random amount of um, batiks. So if you're doing like the scrappiest stuff with us, and you want to build your stash a little bit because you don't have enough of your own. Or you just like a good deal, um, S1551544 is $10. is $10. Okay, 261 two, is at $15. $15, get your final bids in. Um, I've got charity for $15. Charity for $15. I might have to buy it back if this snit does what it's supposed to do. I saw a demo on it a while ago, and I kept thinking I was going to go 
someplace to find some knits. Um, so I could experiment with it because it was super, it was super different. Um, but then I forgot that project. Surprise. Okay, here's a bunch of um, solid colors. It looks like they're all quarter yards. So if you want to do a solid quilt, which is all the rage, um, I'll post, I just finished quilting one, well, this morning at 2 a.m. It's all these solidy colors, but I think it's like the Tulip Pink collection. I'm not positive, but not this. This is not the Tulip Pink collection, but the one I quilted this morning was. It's absolutely fabulous. I'll post it on um, the Stitch Along. S1531 is starting at $10. It took me that, the quilt that I did, um, it's like, uh, I don't even know how big it was. It took six hours of the autopilot just Going, 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 going. One five three one is at nothing. One five four four is at twenty four dollars. One five four four is at twenty four dollars for the fun batiks. Um. Okay. One five three one is at ten dollars. One, five, three, one is at $15. And then I have one, four, three. One, four, three is a variety of flannels. And you've got one and a half yards of this brown with some extra um, leftover pieces in here. And you've got some blue flannel uh, squares. And then a piece of, a pretty good sized piece, maybe like a yard or so of this blue, um, blue and red floral. So S143 is $5. 143 is at $5. Uh, Linda ABC, 1531 is at $15. Um, okay. One five four four. Get your last bits at one five four four. Is at twenty six dollars. One five four four for the batiks is twenty six dollars. And one five three one. My signal is bad and I'm not seeing bits. Okay, Linda ABC, just listen to me. So the the batiks are at twenty six dollars. One five four four for the batiks is at twenty six dollars. The solid quarter yards of solids is one five three one one five three one at fifteen dollars. It's at fifteen dollars right now for the solids. One five three one is at fifteen dollars. One five four four for the batiks is at thirty dollars, thirty one dollars. One five four four is at thirty one dollars. The bidding has begun. Um, one five three one. One five three one. One five three one. Is at $18. And then one four three for the um, flannel is at nothing. One five four four for the. One five four four is at $35 for the batiks. Um, one five three one is at $20 for the solids. One five four four is at thirty six dollars for the batiks. The batiks are at thirty six dollars. The solids are at twenty dollars, and the batiks are at nothing. One four three is at five dollars. One four three for the flannels, which is one and a half to is probably the equivalent of about three yards of fabric. You have a cute little floral print here. It's a good feeling flannel. And then you've got kind of a suede tone on tone blue. And then a check, which is uh, the same on both sides. So it's, uh, I don't know, you guys always talk about the it being the same on both sides, not a printed flannel. So it's a yard and a half of that plus the scraps. And then S143, S143 is at $8 for the flannels. 143 is at $8 for the flannels. 1544 is at uh, $38. 
$38 for the batiks. One, four, three for the flannels is at $8. And the solids are at $20. I'm going to close up the solids since we haven't had a bid on those for a while. So charity for $20. Charity for $20. And then if you girls want to do your final bids, because we have, we literally have buckets and buckets of stuff to auction off. And that does not even touch what we have, um, what we have upstairs. It's, Kind of at this point getting crazy. Okay, one, four, three is at eight dollars. The flannel is at ten dollars. The flannel is at ten dollars. And the batiks are at forty-one dollars. You girls are ridiculous. One five four four is at forty-one dollars for them. Um, the flannel is at thirteen dollars. Okay, Rhonda for forty-one dollars. Rhonda for $41 for the batiks. And um, let's see. Um, Rhonda, you could totally use these and do that flower quilt. One, four, three, the flannel is at $13. The flannel is at $13. Oh, look, here's a piece of flannel. I'm going to throw it into the flannel kit and caboodle. Okay, here is two cute little polka dots, one yard. You've got a light gray and a dark gray. Two one yard piece uh, polka dots from the shop. Two one yards at $15. So that is $7.50 a yard, basically. S04 is two one yards of um, regular cotton. Um, probably Timeless Treasures if I had to guess, but don't, um, don't quote me. Let's see. Um, Moda. So Moda Fabrics, um, two very cute little polka dotty. These will be great backgrounds if you're doing, um, uh, Victor's class, and if you're not doing Victor's class, class, I'm not sure why you're not, because it is a lot of fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> Linda says since, um, since her signal's bad, you guys are looking out. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Suzette, I'll get you the Kasashi flower. Um, okay, S04 is $15 for the two super cute polka dots by Moda. If you're new to watching and you see anything you want, these are second. Well, this is this is not. This is from the shop. But a lot of these are second chance fabrics, which are fabrics that we either we we somehow get control over and um, we give them to you at really good prices. So S05 is seven dollars and fifty cents a yard at the moment for the two the two one yards of Moda fabric right out of our shop for fifteen dollars. S143 for the flannel. We're going to close that up at charity for 13. Okay. And then let me find, I don't know what time it is. Did we go past our five o'clock? It was 4.54. Got six minutes. Oh, good. We got six minutes. We can do so many auctions. S06 is a yard of this fun Halloween. This witch is absolutely hysterical. So the one yard is just the witch all over. And then the fat quarter bundle is all the go with it fabrics. So you've got a cute little um, hat. Oh, here, let me just take it out. Um, so you've got the witch, you've got a cat on a hat. Oh, look at their expressions are pretty cute. This one's pretty. You got to open it up to see it. You've got moon and sun. You've got some polka dots. Um, kind of solid. You could use them in this project or another project. So a fat quarter bundle. The fat quarter was at $27.65 and then a yard for $13. That would have been um, $40. So we've got it half off today. S06, the auction is at $20. S06, the auction is at... 
twenty dollars. Um, S04 is at sixteen dollars for the polka dots. The polka dots are at uh, fifteen. Or the polka dots are at twenty. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Sixteen dollars. The polka dots are at sixteen dollars. The Halloween is at twenty six dollars. And let me close this. Let me put this away so I don't mix this up. Charity, you're going to be leaving here with garbage bag full. We're going to have to drag it out again. Um, okay, I think this is a charity pile here. Um, and then I have some black and white, so you don't have to steal from your mother. S06, the Halloween is at $28. Um, S29 is six half yards of blacks and whites. Um, so you got six half yards here. Um, S29 is $30 for six half yards. That makes it about $10 a yard. Um, S29, if you don't have a black and white stash, you might want to work on that. S06 is at $30. S04, we're going to close that up because I've lost it. S06 is at third. There's two of you at $30. Um, S06 is at $35, S04 is Sue Mathis for 16 Okay, and then S06 is at um, 35 two of you are at 35 S29 for the black and white. S29 for the black and whites is at $30. S29 for the black and whites is at $30. Um, S06 is at $38. The Halloween is at $38. $40. The Halloween is at $40. The Halloween is at $40. Oh. 42. 42, Roger says. Okay, here's one I didn't get a tag on. Um, okay, this apparently was a rag quilt at one time. I don't really know because I never, I, I missed the whole rag brigade. I think some of these were rag quilts. Oh, something just, it's okay. Uh, all these flannels go in here. So basically some of these are already sewn, like this is sewn in an X. These are sewn with the X. This has like a grid. So these are all sewn. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the rag quilt was, but whoever put this together for me said it was a rag quilt. And you've got more strips here. You can see the stitching really good there. So you've got stitching on a lot of these. This has an X, this has that grid. I'm sure it had a purpose or something. Who knows? Um, but if you know, S133 is $5. S133 is $5. S133 is a bunch of squares with batting inside of them um, for a rag quilt, maybe. Okay, I'm going to close some of these up. So get your final bids in. S06 for the Halloween is at $46. S06 for Halloween is at $46. Um, she might be, Jen, she might be giving Victor a run for his money. I'm not sure. S29, S29 is black and whites to Fran for $30. Okay, and then we have the flannels are at um, number seven. Oh, Char Charity was so busy. Charity, I'll find another black and white one. I already gave this one to Fran. I'll find another black and white one for you. Um, I think she was so busy with the Halloween, she didn't pay attention, even though I said, you should get this so you don't have to borrow your mom's again. Um, okay, for S06 is 
at $46. S06 is at $46. S133 for the flannel is at $8. S0, S06 to Rhonda for $46. And Rhonda, yours finally did ship, I think on, I took it to the post office on Saturday. Okay, if anybody wants me to get them the link besides Connie for the um, evening with Victor, we're doing a, another paper piece block just so that we can reinforce what we learned last week, a simple one. And then um, there's also a more complicated paper piece floral block if you want to try that and there's also an applique block for um there's also an applique block for us to do okay uh, i know charity um okay s133 is the flannel and it's at eight dollars 133 is at eight dollars and um let's see 133 is at eight dollars to sharon weber and that is all we have for today because we have to go get the live started for the Zoom. Um, so thank you for joining us and join us on Wednesday. We have a lot more fun happening. Um, have a great night. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.